Why is it that U.S. Senator-elect Kelly Ayotte has such a lock on the media that any time you put up any truthful information about her, it disappears from the Internet? And now, I posted to Wikipedia a number of factual issues, but they were stricken. Who's doing this and why? We're going to get into that and a whole lot of other things in this video. Kelly Ayotte hates the NAACP and everything it stands for, and I'm going to show you some history on that in just a few minutes. Sit tight. Now, I have a major federal lawsuit right now against Kelly Ayotte and Senator John McCain because they have a history of throwing out black reporters from events that are publicly advertised on facilities that uh, derive benefit from uh, public licenses. The NAACP cases clearly are persuasive in my favor. It's, it's fairly obvious. If you're a major reporter or if you're, you know, a white stringer, you come on in. But if you're black, you better get back. Well, I'm not going to take it anymore, and I'm going to show you in this video the history of Kelly Ayotte's outright antipathy and hatred and contempt for all things related to black people and the NAACP. Even the stringers know it's not right. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Excellent. It's a beautiful day, except for the fact that my uh, freedom of the press rights have been uh, curtailed today. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way it is. So that's how they do it in the live free or die state. Got Di Lothar up there, the GOP chair, communications for Nashua. Got Officer Hargraves there, Ryan Williams there. He's the GOP communications chair for the whole state. I used pink for you guys because that's the color of the underwear that Joe Arpaio makes his prisoners wear. I hope you like it. It's good to see you, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Good to be seen as long as I'm outside, that is. I was told by the campaign that you're not welcome here. Typically. By the campaign? That's correct. Okay, now watch closely here as they kick me out of the uh, GOP rally with Joe Arpaio. You can clearly see that there's uh, three officers there. There's two Caucasian officers and one African-American Latino guy. He clearly knows that this is an unconstitutional, abusive threat to free press. And he looks at him. He's not looking at me. He's looking at his partners. I can't wait to get him on the witness stand and get his deposition. Alrighty then. We're going to return to New Hampshire momentarily, but first I'm going to show you how things happen in Massachusetts and how I relate to high-powered people there and how they never threaten to arrest me. Hey Chris, how are you? I'm good. Uh, actually, I was just coming up to drop off a public records request. Just wondering what kind of subpoenas you all got from uh, the uh, Herald and or the uh, WDHD on the, the Marinova issue. Oh, I wouldn't know. You'd have to check in with legal on that. Okay, I will do well, that. What were you looking for? Do, uh, do you have an appointment? or? No, I, I was just going to drop it off. It should be fine. Oh, all right, good, yeah. Do you want me to give it to them? That'd be great. And what do you know? Sure enough, I got my documents. Nobody got threatened with arrest. And the documents are quite damning, but that's a different case. We're going to come right on back to New Hampshire now and show you how they do things there. Senator-elect Kelly Ayotte is a straight-up racist, and if she's not, she's certainly acting like one, and she's acting as if she has a serious vendetta against me ever since I was an NAACP legal chair, pushing forward uh, on an issue involving police abuse against a young man in Jaffrey, New Hampshire. She brought a frivolous case uh, before the New Hampshire Superior Courts for unauthorized practice of law against me as an NAACP legal chair. Now, I'm going to get into that in just a moment, but, you know, all along the while, she violated my due process rights, uh, substantive and procedural. She violated the best evidence rule, and the court didn't make her respond to my request for admissions ever until it came time for a memorandum in opposition summary judgment. And at that point, the court, uh, you know, let her dismiss the case. But first, we're going to talk about the Nigger Mania website and their support for Kelly Ayotte which she refused to repudiate. That's a simple thing for a candidate to do, 
if she's not a racist, she could say, oh, no, I don't, I, I totally reject any notion of support from bigots like that. But she didn't do that because she agrees with them when they say that it was fine for her to throw my nigger ass out. Hey, Kelly, do you, do you accept the support from nigger mania or not? Do you accept the online support you're getting from nigger mania or not? That's not yes or no question. Uh, did you honestly believe Perfect. that you could delete Perfect. all those emails and that would be uh, in line with the statutory uh, scheme? Did you honestly believe your emails were not subject to public disclosure? No, her support, people who support her on nigger mania are supporting Kelly Ayotte. Now, I asked her if she accepted that. We're getting on the bus. We're getting on the bus. Yep. The problem is if she's open, that she's got to admit that she lied about the Franconia shooting tragedy, as noted in my blog post today. But what you were asking her today about whether or not she wants to be tied to that nigger mania website was an easy question for any candidate. She could have answered your question. She didn't answer an obvious question because she didn't want to answer your question. You see, five years ago, Kelly Ayotte came after me when I was NAACP legal chair, and uh, she spent a whole lot of time and money and state resources attempting to convict me of unauthorized practice of law and attempted felony extortion, all because I wrote a simple demand letter on behalf of a young black man who faced three drawn police weapons uh, in Jaffrey, New Hampshire, and a visual body cavity search for loitering. Now, furthermore, a couple years after that, I became aware that she covered up for Gregory Floyd, the guy whom I believe murdered Leeko Kenny. And she is now aware that I know all about his background, and she hid this from the American public. That's why she can't stand me, and that's why she threatens to arrest me whenever she sees me. It's steeped in race, it's steeped in the First Amendment, and it's steeped in her hatred and contempt for open government. Well, all right then. So this is the order from Judge Groff on 6 October 2006, uh, denying summary judgment for Kelly Ayotte and therefore a trial loomed large. But what the order didn't mention for some reason is this document that I filed, my memorandum contra summary judgment. The court got rid of all that. And also, uh, for some other reason, the court never mentioned these stipulations, these proposed stipulations and findings of fact and law that are pretty damning as well. And they show where Kelly Ayotte totally violated my due process rights and the best evidence rule. So she backed out of the case somewhat ungraciously, but I kept all of my files. So clearly, we have a rebuttable presumption of racism here. And, and the question is, you know, what else could it be? Why would she be so rabid about going after an NAACP operative that she would risk embarrassment like that, violating the rules of civil procedure and not even being right on the law? And why then would the court, furthermore, not allow me to ask those questions at the outset of the trial, of the, or of the case? And so now we have, uh, to cover up this time, we've got 12 different uh, four different lawyers and eight different legal assistants and, and uh, paralegals to help cover up now. Why? And what are you looking at, you little corporate media shill? What's the matter? Couldn't protect candidate Kelly from King Cast today? So why don't you just go ahead, pack up, go on home now to your pappy Joe McQuaid and tell him to rewrite that editorial he took off the internet a few years ago about me when he thought I was going to get convicted before I embarrass Kelly and her buddy Chief Dunn. Even Russian journalists know this activity is un-American.